slight hiccup in the loading time there. Cutscene. Harry. How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Lies, lies and slander. Yeah. I'm glad you made it. I was worried about you. You were worried. Where did you disappear to? Hell dimension. Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. I said hell dimension. What is Pay attention. This, town? this may sound really off the wall, but listen to Really me. off the wall. You've got to believe Really damn with the 90s lingo there, aren't you, Harry? Well done, my lad, well done. I'm not fooling around. At first, I thought I was losing my mind. But now I know I'm not. <laughs> It's not me. This whole town. It's being invaded by the other world. That world of someone's nightmare. Yeah, you do realize it just sounds even crazier when you deliver it in that flat, deadpan, lifeless tone, don't you, Harry? Trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Now you're identifying with crazy people. It's not a good start. Hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look out the window. I can't explain it. Well, what's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know... Demons! There? Under whoever created this darkness. Bow chicka bow wow? Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. Harry. This whole thing's been a major blow to you. You need to rest. Sybil, I... Oh good. Finally, a voice of reason comes. With your weird school boy tie. What the hell's going on with that? And did nothing to stop it? What a bitch. The task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. Now, some of you may have noticed the weird pause and slight lurching intenses and what that happened there. Now, some people reckon that's accidental. Personally, I think when she says the two, she covers up for herself by talking about the seals. I reckon she's actually talking about Sybil and Harry. The sacrifices. That's just my personal theory, though. Everyone will die. So what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon. Oh, is that all? Let me just fetch my crucifix. The demon, the demon taking that child's form. Before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it! Stop it! Yes, I heard you the first time, love. Calm down. What do I do? She just told you. Go to the lighthouse on the lake. And to the center of the amusement park. Make haste. You are the only hope. We're doomed. Okay. I really don't get what's going on. <clears throat> but if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. <laughs> I'll check out the Oh, <laughs> such park. terrible, terrible voice acting. You go to the lighthouse. Sybil, thanks. It's nothing, dude. She's just finally actually doing her job. What about Sybil? What about her? She already told you her plan. You signed off on it. Why the sudden panic? Right. Ooh, bullets. Definitely gonna need plenty of these. Plenty of rifle ammunition too. Superb, superb. Health drink, awesome. Right, Let's save the game. Careful not to walk out the door by mistake. 
because I have done that before, I must admit. And let's rock on up to the lighthouse. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing there. And yes, we're basically going to be chased by horrific monstrosities the whole way there. And the whole way back to the game kind of fair like that. Just these things. Get away! Get away! Get away from me, you freaks! Thankfully, they're pretty stupid, so I can dodge and evade them with relative ease. Though it's still unbearably tense, thanks to these stupid tank controls. Come on, Harry, move it! You know you've got to move it! Move it! Fuck! Stop numbing on my ass! Get off me! Don't you laugh at me in that weird, disturbing, throaty way? Fuck! Ah! <sighs> It always happens, you get hit once, and several other enemies manage to twat you as well in rapid succession. This game really does show you no mercy. But you know, that's PS1 era games for you. All of these old fashioned games were sort of the opinion, you've got to be good enough to play us. We don't have to be easy enough for you to play. But you know, I preferred it that way. You know I'm going to stop right there before I go into a big rant about modern gaming versus classic gaming and all that kind of nonsense. Although speaking of, um, on a slight tangent to that, I played the demo for Sonic Generations today. Uh, it's only at the one level. It's the remix of the Green Hill Zone in that sort of 2.5D stuff, uh, playing as classic Sonic with classic controls. And i got to admit, I really liked it. I mean, I played um, Sonic 4 a little while ago and utterly hated that game. That was horrific. Terrible, really. But this Sonic Generation stuff, this is this is good. This is, you know, it's actually fun. Wait. I can't wait to see how they do the modern Sonic version of the levels. Because, unlike a lot of people, I do actually like the 3D Sonic games. I think they add a new layer of challenge and complexity. The only game I... well, actually there's two of the modern Sonics I don't like. Uh, that would be Black Knight. And the Werehog levels of... Uh, well... Sonic Unleashed. Funnily enough, I don't actually mind most of Sonic 06. I mean, I'm not that big a fan of Silver's levels, but other than that, I've got no real problems with it. I just find the attempt to add a, a deep emotional storyline to a Sonic game hilarious. I mean, I think they got as far as they really could manage with that sort of nonsense when they were doing Sonic Adventure. At least that has a common decency to keep the humans and whatnot relegated to the background, keep all the story tied up within the, uh, well, you know, the traditional Sonic characters and a few add ons. Yeah, we just warped halfway back to the exit. Sybil has a nice one. Back. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Let me be on time. Hmm. Too bad you don't have Link's powers. Because then, we could go back in time. Ba, 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 we're going back in time. See all these great song choices I only just now think of when I'm like three quarters of the way through Majora's Mask already. Perhaps I'll add one or more of them into the credits. Just for my own amusement. Yeah, we've now got to mosey our way along to the amusement park. Pretty sharpish, pretty sharpish. Just got all sorts of horrendous freaks chasing us again. Determined to savage our bumholes. And other orifices. Yeah, they eventually give up though. As we keep zigging and zagging. Us are now white lines of destiny. Ah. Oh fuck, please tell me this is in the wrong way. No, fuck, no, don't do this to me. Shit! Ah, miss me! Quick, into the. Ah, miss me again! 
Up yours, sucker. Guess we're going to duck down here and try and escape. Seems like a very bad idea to me. Probably to all of you as well. That'd be because it is, in fact, a bad idea. Hey, Sybil, how's it going? Uh, boogie boogie boo. Oh, she fell down. What a shame. I'm sure she's fine. Probably just a bit embarrassed. Hmm, that be a map on the wall and the mark of Samael on the floor. That can't be good. More. Oh fuck. More sewers. <laughs> I don't want to go through sewers again. Never mind the fact they seem to make my game crash. Fuck! Get away, get away, get away! Where am I going? Get me out of here. Get me out of here! I don't want to do this! I don't want to be here anymore! Run away, run away, run away! Now where do I go? To the right! Ah, I knew it all along. Cross the bridge and turn right. Sometime today would be nice, Harry. Yep, cool. Ooh, health drink. I'll be taking that. Mark of Samuel seems to be appearing everywhere now. On the walls, on the floors. Yeah. Demon children! Very easy to dodge. Shit! Those things not so much. Quick left. Quick flee, Harry! Flee! We have only to escape. Fuck! Fuck was that? Get me out of here. Get me. What the crap in hell is that? And what's going on here? This amusement park carousel horse is just embedded in the. What? 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 I'm fine. No map of the amusement park, eh? Yeah, I'm sure that's no problem for Harry, Explorer Extraordinaire. God, those are creepy. They also set off your radio, uh, erroneously. Ah, oh, fuck, demon children. Miss me! Aha, up yours. So I've got no fear of those anymore. They're far too slow and cumbersome to really bother me in such a wide open area as this. And despite the fact the game seems to be slowing down for no particular reason. Now where the f crap am I going? This is really one of the downsides to this particular part of the game. You really have no clue where you're going most of the time. And the constant ringing of the radio just makes you feel more and more tense. As you realise you really have no clue what's going on, where you're going, if you're going to survive all of this. And there's plenty of dead ends to run into as well, apparently. Yeah, isn't that just marvellous? And I probably shouldn't have been leaning against this wooden post as long as I have been. Because my back is really, really hurting me, I've just realised as I tried to move my shoulders. Ah, oh, fuck. Probably doesn't help that I... I think I've pulled more or less every muscle I have doing all the uh, landscaping I'll be doing over the past couple of days. Ow, that hurts. You know I know a good masseuse? Oh, hey there, Sybil. How's it going? Very nice rest, are we? Well, that's fine. I was thinking maybe, you know, we continue the mission, show a bit of professionalism here. But if you need to sit down, that's just fine. Ah, good, you're up. Right then, let's carry right along and... What the fuck? You all saw that, right? Um, Sybil? Yeah, I was just joking about the having a rest thing, right? Well, Were you crazy? Fuck! 